You can have your attention, please. We are now joined by our third place finisher, Joey Logano, driver of the number 22, Shell Pennzoil Ford. Joey, congratulations on a great run out there. You're now sitting in eighth place, heading into the final uh, cutoff race in this current round. So just talk a little bit about your race this afternoon and um, your thoughts heading into Talladega. Yeah, we uh, came out swinging. <laughs> uh, what, we had was what we had to do. We did everything we were supposed to do today. Um, our team executed perfectly, um, so I'm, I'm proud of uh, our pit stops, uh, our adjustments, um, our restarts. Um, just needed a little bit more speed. That was probably the, the biggest thing. We were a little bit off on the short run, and uh, you know, after 15 laps or so, uh, we were as good as anybody, but we weren't better than them, so we couldn't make up what we were losing on the restart. So, um, yeah, we, we made up a lot of points, <laughs> uh, just not enough. It is not uh, comfortable. Austin and I are tied for next week, so <laughs> that'll be fun. <laughs> and uh, so, um, overall, uh, I'm proud of the effort and the, um, you know, the job we did today. But, uh, you know, we wanted to win, but we did everything we are supposed to do. Okay, we'll open up for questions for Joey. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. We'll start here with Pat. Pat DeCole on NASCAR.com. Joey, eighth is a pretty interesting position to be in going to Talladega. How do you balance going for the win or balancing, you know, racing for points? Uh, I race for the win. That's the way I race. Uh, I don't know a, a different way to race. So um, that's probably <laughs> the route I'm going to go. I, I'm sure we'll talk about it this week, but uh, I'm a racer. Additional questions for Joey? Okay, we'll go to Randy here in the middle. Hey, Joey, Randy Kovitz, Kansas City Star. So, yeah, you made up some points today, which was good from where you were, but his third never felt so disappointing because <laughs> it's a good yes. finish, but, 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 but you're eighth in the, you know, you're just barely above the cutoff. Yeah, the, the big thing that, that swung everything around is, is Kevin winning. Um, we, we would have been in pretty good shape if uh, if he finished second today. Um, but you know, not a surprise. They, they usually, when it comes to these situations, they usually find a little bit more speed somewhere in their race cars. I don't know how, but when they're in must-win situations, they seem to find a little bit more speed, which is always interesting to me um, that they have a little bit left in the tank. But uh, you know, for us, that's um, yeah. Like you said, it's, it's not disappointing because uh, we still should be proud of the effort that we had today. But um, you know, it would have been a lot different <laughs> if he finished second. Uh, and it may have happened, too, if, uh, you know, Kyle and Carl were racing the crap out of each other <laughs> in front of me. And uh, I probably held them up enough. I thought Carl was a faster car. I probably could have gone there, down there and uh, beat the four at the end of the race. But um, they were racing each other pretty hard uh, earlier in that run, which uh, set them back a little bit. Any final questions for Joey? All right, Joey, thank you for coming in. Good luck next week. Great. Thanks.